All right, this is going to be a little story about one of my Kershaw knives, and it's the Oso oh Sweet, and why I think it's uh, a really good value, and it's a great little knife. Uh, I've been collecting knives for a lot of years. I don't remember how many, but it's probably been five or six years. And I got the this first Kershaw Oso oh Sweet. Uh, it's one of my first knives I got, and I really like it. Uh, it's a few of the specs are, it's just about 7 inches long, weighs about a little under 3 ounces. It's got a flipper, I really like the flipper knives. Flipper opening, um, it's got the plastic, nylon, whatever, plastic handles. It's a great little blade and it cost me about $30. And this was one of my first, like I said. And since then, I've gotten quite a few knives. Uh, I just put a few of them out here just to show you that I, I've uh, had a lot of experience with uh, <clears throat> kind of lower end knives from the $60 to about $30. Anyway, uh, a couple of days ago I saw a review on the same Kershaw, the Oso oh Sweet, but it was in red. And I said I gotta have one of these. And so I, I ordered it from Amazon.com and I got it from the scope shop no the scope stop dot com on Amazon dot com and I'm not affiliated with them any but uh, they have the best price I got it for twenty just under twenty one dollars and their service was like about two days anyway this is one of my favorite knives because it's it's light uh, I can throw it around and you know replace it real easy uh, it's easy to carry, it's sharp, it's fast deploying, and I really like the color of this red. I didn't, I have never seen one before, so I got this right away. So this is one of my favorite knives. The only drawback is that it's made in China. And all things considered, I mean, if you don't mind buying China, it's a good knife. But this would have been my favorite all-time carry knife if it was, if it would have been made in the USA. So, <clears throat> I still like it, but... To replace that with a USA made knife, I got the Kershaw Zing. It's also got a flipper opening. It does not have an assisted opening. But it's got the, uh, I don't think those are G10 handles. They just kind of look like it. But this is my all time favorite carry knife because it's, first of all, it's USA made. It costs around $30. It's a flipper made by Kershaw. It's got a great blade. And there's a lot of knives in that category. Uh, the top, I don't remember what the top one is. It's a Gerber. There's another Kershaw. Kershaw, the K-Bar Dozier. That was about $20. And two Oso Sweets there. That's my favorite carry knife uh, in the area of 7 inches. And it's just a great knife. Just something I thought I'd let you know. And back there, uh, a couple of my... Move this thing. I'm just about finished with uh, the second wood carving, uh, the Boondock Saints. Though this one back here and this one over here. And I'm working on another project. This in the middle there is a uh, first, the first cut on uh, one of the famous pictures of Charlton Heston holding up the uh, uh, the flintlock rifle that he got from the NRA when he says from my cold dead hands so that's gonna be a wood carving yes that should come out pretty good anyway um, I just like the Oso oh sweet and uh, it's a great knife okay that's it for now knuckle bump